Good evening, everyone. I'm calling this meeting to order. Today's date is September 5th, 2017. The time is 5.32. Um, as is customary, I want to give a preview of our agenda. We always begin um, by reminding everyone to please silence your cell phone. Thank you. Uh, we will begin with an invocation. Um, Pastor Daniel Rivera, a dear friend of mine, he's here to lead us in that invocation. Um, he is also from, he also represents the Jerusalem House of Prayer. Good afternoon. Um, we will have our Pledge of Allegiance. Um, we will be led by Mr. Lester Yates. He's our Director of Safety and Security. Our mission statement will be brought by Mr. Jose Gonzalez. He's our Director of Budget. Translation services, as always, provided by the Multicultural Department. Belinda Reyes, the Executive Director. At this time, I will invite everyone to please stand up and Pastor Rivera to the podium. Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening thanking you that we may come together as a community to solve the issues and the problems of our day for our children. I ask, oh God, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for our administrators, our educators, our elected officials. We pray for the victims also of Texas, oh Lord, Father, for a speedy recovery and for those who have lost lives. We weep and mourn with them. We pray for them and their families. We also pray, oh dear God, for this impending storm that you will cast it out, that it will be, do no harm to anyone. So Lord, as we start this day, we ask for your wisdom. We ask for your mercy and your compassion. And help us, oh dear God, as we strengthen our communities and our educators, oh Lord, that you will bless them and protect them and our community, Lord. For this we ask in your name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good evening. Our mission is inspiring all learners to reach their highest potential as responsible, productive citizens. Thank you. We, we also um, always provide an opportunity for board members at the beginning of the meeting to share with us any positive comments and the superintendent. I'm going to start with um, our acting superintendent, Dr. Fritz. Well, thank you. I, I'd like to celebrate and thank the teachers and principals that kicked off College Week 2017. I'm going to ask that we put up a picture. Uh, I think we have it on the screen, Ms. Otterson. This was elementary, middle, and high school, and you can see this is one of our kindergartens. This is actually our very own Virginia Ramey's daughter. Um, she, you can see she's a kindergarten student at Narcusi Elementary School wearing her future Harvard shirt. Ooh. So very excited about that. We did have some great activities. We had over 200 juniors and seniors. Uh, got to go to a one-day workshop with John Hopkins University. We also uh, trained 33 guidance counselors on how to write recommendation letters. So. I'm awesome. Mr. Mr. Chair, that was a wonderful week. Sounds like it. Thank you. Dr. Fritz, um, Clarence? Uh, just hope everybody had a good Memorial Day and with the weather, uh, Labor Day, what did I say, Memorial Day? Memorial. Labor Day, thank you. It's a holiday. Day, it's a holiday. Who's day's moving, the week's moving, years moving past. They kind of <laughs> um, and uh, with the storm that uh, seemed to be bearing down on us this way, uh, Please take heed and listen to the warnings and have your families prepared and, uh, and be able to help with your neighbors. Absolutely. I would just like to um, just comment on the same topic, and that is that um, don't take anything for chance. There's plenty of time right now to get ready, um, and trust me, there's a lot less hassle than not being prepared. <clears throat> Mr. Booth? Yeah, thank you. Uh, even though they looked terrible. Uh -huh. On Saturday, I wore my Gators tie today uh, to oh, kind of sure. <laughs> thank you, Clarence, <laughs> to finish up 
uh, college week. I want to thank uh, Ms. Lopez and, and the entire staff uh, for a great college week. I think we, I think we really, really did a good job as a district, and I appreciate all the hard work. And there was a lot of community engagement. I saw the City of Kissimmee and the Education Foundation and a lot of other folks involved. So thank you to everybody who was involved in that. Um, had to stop for gas and dog food today. Really dumb mistake on my part. Um, <laughs> I will just say this, I'm not going to comment on how things are going, but remember we're all in this together when it comes to this storm. <laughs> um, do you really need 800 bottles of water or can you get by with 200? Um, do you really need 100 gallons of gas or can you get by with 50? I mean, I think we need to uh, remember uh, that we're all kind of in this together, uh, So, and it's a community. And so let's get prepared together and let's help each other out. Let's be neighborly. So you know the that. resale on those. But, not <laughs> yeah, look out. but check it out. But my team did win. <laughs> Wait, who is your team? Oh, that's 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 like that's a rarity. In any case, I think go Bears. I'll give it to you. All right. Um, so we don't have any presentations. Chucks. There's no appointments or transfers. But we do have open, we do have public comments. And um, one that has been handed in to me uh, by Ms. Stevens. Ms. Yes. Stevens, you're up. Chairman Soto. Yeah, good evening. Uh, D. Stevens, uh, 218 East Cedarwood Circle, um, former school board member. I'm here tonight. I don't see some people are not here. Uh, the superintendent, I guess, she shall be here. I called today the office, and I was glad to hear that um, Mrs. Ravel told me there's a plan of action meeting tomorrow morning to plan for the, hopefully we will, won't have the hurricane, but you have to be prepared. Well, I want to speak tonight. What bothers me is I understand you're not subscribing to the Access Osceola, and in terms of times of emergency, such as preparedness for hurricanes and so forth, you should have open communications and mass communications to help with the news company networks as well. And channel 499, you should have things where they can have point bulletins in the morning and you should work with um, public information office. You have till the end of the week, you should get something up there. I understand the signals aren't working, but it's a very important thing to have open communications here. And I'd appreciate you considering um, working with um, Access Osceola in helping the community to, uh, with the schools and so forth, and neighbor should help neighbor. And uh, I just wanted to say that the Kissimmee Utility Authority, uh, Jim Welch, every year um, has information forthcoming to the community. And they're very well prepared in preparing this county. And uh, please consider uh, updating and reinvesting in the access Osceola because it's very important to have uh, open communications. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Stevens. OK. All right. See no other requests for public comments. We'll close this section of the agenda. And we will recess this public school board meeting and convene a meeting for the final budget approval. Ms. Graber. Good evening. This is the public hearing on proposed millage rates in the annual budget for fiscal year 2017-18. The 2017-18 school year marks an exciting time for the Osceola County School District. Our district continues to maintain a strong strategic focus on providing the highest quality educational experience for all students within a framework of fiscal responsibility to the citizens of Osceola County. It is through collaboration among students, parents, staff, school board members, and the community that we will take student achievement to new heights. This is reflected in the strong alignment between our strategic plan and the budget to be presented tonight. I would like to begin by thanking the board for your continued guidance and support. Tonight's public hearing on the final budget will include remarks regarding the proposed millage and budget. There will then be an opportunity for public and board member comments. 
You'll adopt the resolution setting the proposed total millage levy to support the 2017-18 annual budget. And you'll also adopt a resolution approving the 2017-18 annual budget. So what is TRIM? The Truth in Millage Legislation, or TRIM legislation, was enacted in 1980, and the requirements are detailed under Section 200.065 Florida Statutes. The statute dictates the form, size, and placement of budget advertisements, as well as the order of business during the budget hearings. TRIM requires two public hearings for open discussion of the millage rates and the proposed budget of all taxing authorities. This evening is the second public hearing. What is a mill? A property tax levy of $1 per $1,000 of taxable property value. So one mill is equal to .001, and $100,000 times one mill would be a tax levy of $100. The Florida Education Finance Program, or FEFP, is the mechanism by which state and local funds are allocated to Florida school districts. The Florida Legislature sets the required local effort millage and the prior period funding adjustment millage rates that must be levied by the school board. The school board must levy the required local effort millage rate and prior period funding adjustment millage in order to receive any state funding under the FEFP program. The total proposed millage related to school funding for the 2017-18 school year is 6.749 mills. This millage will generate revenue for the general operating and capital outlay funds. As previously mentioned, the millage rates are determined by the Florida Legislature, and this is the maximum millage that the school board is allowed to levy without a specific voter-approved referendum. The district must levy the required local effort and any prior period funding adjustment in order to receive approximately $254.6 million in state FEFP funding. In addition, we must levy the full basic discretionary millage to receive $13.9 million in compression funding from the state. The proposed total millage rate related to school funding of 6.749 mills represents a decrease of 0 0.156 mills when compared to the 2016-17 rates. The reduction in the RLE from 4.643 to 4.501 mills equates to a loss in funding of 3.4 million when applied to the current tax roll. As required by TRIM, we must compare the proposed millage rate to the rollback rate. The rollback rate is a millage rate that would generate the same amount of revenue as last year if applied to the current year adjusted taxable value. Under TRIM, the rolled back rate is the basis for determining if tax rates have increased or decreased. So this slide compares the proposed millage rates to the roll back rates. The current state law roll back rate is 4.4235 mills. The current proposed state law millage rate for 2017-18 is 4.501 mills. The proposed rate increased by 1.75% as compared to the rollback rate. The rollback rate for the total millage rate is 6.5588 mills. The proposed total millage rate for 2017-18 is 6.749 mills. So the rate, proposed total rate has increased by 2.9% as compared to the rollback rate. The Osceola County tax levy will increase by $10.7 million for school-related taxes in 2017-18 as compared to the prior year. While the millage rate has decreased, the tax roll is up 9.3% over the prior year. So what does this mean for the individual taxpayer in Osceola County? The taxable value of a homeowner's property equals the assessed value as determined by the Osceola County Property Appraiser's Office minus the $25,000 homestead exemption where applicable. The homestead exemption is an amount established by law for properties used as the owner's primary residence that is exempt from ad valorem taxes. It's typically $25,000. The portion of property tax related to school funding equals the taxable value divided by 1,000 times the school district millage rate. Therefore, in this example, a homeowner with an assessed value of $125,000 with homestead exemption 
will pay $674.90 of school-related ad valorem property tax to Osceola County. This slide illustrates the changes in school-related property taxes for an Osceola County homeowner over the last several years. This example incorporates Save Our Homes legislation as provided in Section 193.155, Paren 1, Florida Statutes, which regulates annual increases in assessment value to the lower of the following. Either 3% of the assessed value of the property for the prior year, or the percentage change in the CPI, or Consumer Price Index. Since the percentage change in the CPI has been less than 3% for the past several years, the CPI change is what applies here. Therefore, a home valued at $150,000 in 2013 would have generated roughly $938.63 in school-related property tax. If the owner qualified for Save Our Homes by the 2017-18 school year, the estimated assessed value of that same home would be approximately $157,787. Based on this valuation, the estimated school-related property tax would be $896.20. This is an increase of $1.73 from the 2016 tax year and a four-year cumulative decrease of $42.43. So now let's change focus from taxes to the budget you will be adopting tonight. The key items in the budget have been previously shared with you. The changes between this budget and the budget presented at the board meeting on July 18th are primarily a result of the adjustments in the second FEFP calc and the certification of the final tax roll. Other minor changes and adjustments to fund balances were made as we continue to, to close out the 2016-17 fiscal year. FEFP and local tax revenues for the 2017-18 budget are $20.5 million greater than the 2016-17 year. Funding per student will increase by $106 or 1.54% over the prior year. This slide shows our long-range forecast. At the close of the 2016-17 school year, we projected a surplus in the general fund as planned. The proposed budget presented tonight includes another small surplus for 2017-18. Based on state funding projections, we are anticipating a minimal increase in per-student funding again the following year. Careful monitoring of budgetary resources will still be a top priority to ensure sustainability through any future funding shortfalls. As previously shared, the expenditure projections in this plan include the negotiated salary increases for 2017-18. This is the district's total budget in summary form. The general fund is the main fund from which most operating expenditures are paid. In addition, tonight the board will approve budgets for the debt service fund, which is used to pay for the outstanding bonds of the district, the capital projects fund, which accounts for major construction and renovation projects, the special revenue fund, which consists of food service and federal grants, and finally, the Internal Service Fund, which accounts for the district's health insurance and property casualty insurance programs. The total annual budget is $1,097,907,695. This slide represents the annual budget at the level of detail you will be adopting tonight. This is the same level of detail at which you approve budget amendments throughout the year. So, Mr. Chairman, now is the time for you to ask if there are any questions or speakers for public comment. Thank you. Any, okay, we'll recognize um, Ms. Stevens. <clears throat> uh, based on staff recommendation, they, all the figures were prepared and everything. The only thing I just wanted to say is when people get their tax bill, they just want to know how much more they're going to have to pay, you know, on their property taxes. But she did a very good job, I think, in preparing this, uh, Sarah Gaber, and uh, I'm sure you had time to consider it. And Clarence, being an accountant, he probably understands this better than most of you. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your comments, Ms. Yeah. Stevens. Okay. If does anyone else in the public want to address have any questions or comments? 
on this topic. Anyone else? All right. Ms. Graver? Board comments? Thank you, Ms. Stevens. Before we, before we vote. What is the board comments? Do you have, probably now before you vote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so is this just a roll call vote or just no? It's a roll call. Okay, before we take any vote, board, any discussion? I, I've just got uh, <laughs> one question. Did a great job on the budget. My Thank question's you. not really on the budget, but what I'm wondering is, and you can figure this out and tell me that if this is a mountain of work, I don't necessarily want to do it. But I'd really like to see if y'all could prepare a schedule of the rollback for the last three years. And I don't know if you if, if that's accessible by other counties. But I know Osceola County was one of the hardest hit on property value decreases. And I've got an inkling we may be, dispropor be getting hurt disproportionately by the rollbacks as opposed to a county that basically did not have big property value drops. And I'd like to be able to see that again if, it's, if it turns into something that's you know, I'm not looking for four months worth of work, but if it's yeah, something. I'll definitely look into that. Try and work on something. So, uh, as far as the budget, um, looks good. It's a little bit of a milestone to be a billion dollar budget. A billion ninety seven. With the number of kids we have, we should have uh, eclipsed this number a long time ago. Yes, we should have. And with the rollback, we would have gotten there a little quicker. But um, I. Uh, I'm in favor of the budget. I don't have any problems. I'm ready to vote. Very good. Um, Mr. Booth? Yeah, I'm in favor of the budget as well. I wanted to thank you guys for, for all the work that you've done. And, and um, again, maybe uh, maybe there needs to be a little bit more of school board involved in the process at the beginning end of the budget. Um, number two, the only other thing I'd say, I don't know if this is the right time to bring it up or not, but I'm gonna, going to anyway. Um, you know, I think we need to start really looking at where some funding may be to help us in this transportation issues. Where are we at and what can we do? I'd like to see if, if transportation could come up, and I know Mr. Shatira is not here tonight, but some sort of a plan uh, of how we're gonna address this bus driver shortage and the number of buses. I was driving here today on the way to town, there was a bus broke down on the side of the road. Again, that's the second time that I've driven to town, there's been a bus broke down on the side of the road. Um, and I know we've got a ton of buses, so that's a pretty standard deal. But the overcrowding issues and the bus driver shortage issues, there's got to be something we can do. There's got to be a, some sort of innovative approach we could take as a district to, to help alleviate that problem. And, and, and I know going forward, this is the budget for this upcoming year, but I think we need to start now and thinking about what we can do for next year's budget uh, to address this issue. So otherwise, Sarah, thank you and, and your whole team. Thank you to everybody. Appreciate it. And I know I know everybody throughout the district has to submit their their numbers and um, and so thank you Team for all effort. your hard work. I appreciate it. Good words. Uh, thank you, Mr. Booth. Board members. Um, yeah, I'd just like to remind our viewers and everyone else that what looks easy doesn't necessarily it's because of all the hard work and all the time that was put in by everyone, by staff, your team. Really appreciate it. I'm in favor of this budget as well. I'm ready to take a vote. Thank you all. Yeah, I just need to read the slide for the record. So we recommend that the board adopt resolution 18-006, setting the required local effort, discretionary operating, and capital outlay millages for the 2017-18 as follows. Required local effort is set at 4.501 mills. There is no prior period funding adjustment. The discretionary operating of 0 0.748 mills and capital outlay of 1.5 mills for a total of 6.749 mills. And the total millage rate to be levied does exceed the rollback rate by 2.90%. So this now requires a roll call vote. Aye. 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 Okay, and second is the adoption of the budget. So we recommend that the board approve resolution 18-007, adopting the annual budget in the amount of one billion ninety-seven million nine hundred seven thousand six hundred ninety-five dollars. And this also requires a roll call vote. Mr. Soto. Aye. Mr. Thacker. Aye. Mr. Booth. Aye. 
Thank you. At this time, I'd like to thank all of the staff for all of their hard work. This is a major collaborative effort that would not be possible without input from every school and department. So this concludes the public hearing to adopt the 2017-18 proposed millage rates and annual budget. All right, so we adjourn the meeting. Thank you, Ms. Gray. Thank you. And reconvene our public board meeting. Um, see if there's any agenda modifications. I'll start with Mr. Booth. I have none. I have none. I have none. Superintendent? Oh, none. Thank you. All right. I move for approval of the agenda and uh, consent agenda. Second. A motion by Mr. Thacker, second by Mr. Booth to approve the consent agenda as submitted. Uh, board, any discussion? Hearing none, we'll vote. All in favor, please state aye. 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 Hearing no, none opposing, motion passes 3 0. Mr. Chairman, I will. Uh, oh, information item, sorry. Yes. I'm jumping the gun on you. Well, I just want to read it into we do have board for your perusal and um, information on the monthly business advisory board meeting is in the packet. Right. Thank you. Okay, then I'll go ahead, Mr. Chairman, and make a, a motion to approve item A under curriculum and instruction. And I'll second that. There's a motion by Mr. Booth and a second by Mr. Thacker to approve <coughs> item A on the curriculum and instruction. Board, any, any um, discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Hearing none opposed, the motion passes 3 0. Now make a motion to approve items B, C, and D and the Chief of Staff. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Thacker, seconded by Mr. Booth to approve B, C, and D Chief of Staff. Um, board, any discussion on these items? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Mr. Chairman, I will make um, a. Oh, sorry. Hearing none opposed, the motion passes 3 0. Sorry. <laughs> I will make a motion to approve item uh, E under the Deputy uh, Superintendent's recommendation. I will second that. All right. So, motion by Mr. Booth, seconded by Mr. Thacker, to approve item E on the deputy discussion. Okay. Any discussion? I just wanted to say thank you guys for doing that. I think this goes along with getting the SAT uh, to everybody and, um, and and making it available to all of our students and having everybody take the test. So, so kudos to you guys and thank you for doing that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Not hearing any further discussion, we'll take a vote. Board, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Opposed, hearing none, motion passes 5 zero, three, three zero. We'll correct the record. That's just a force to have. Want me to right? vote for Jane Tim? Like, <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed the speed with which this moves with just the three of us here? <laughs> Jay would have had more questions. <laughs> I'll make a motion to uh, approve item F with some discussion. Very second. Well. Motion to approve item F by Mr. Thacker, second by Mr. Booth under human resources with discussion by. Mr. My Tucker. question is, I'm not sure who to. <laughs> um, I understand what we're doing here. This allow, just could kind of tell me what the procedure is. He's still got uh, a recourse for some other. Uh, he, he has a right to a hearing. Um, Mr. Phelps can probably elaborate a little more, but he has a right to a hearing. I got confused on what it is. Oh, it's the way he wrote his letter. He has a uh, He has a right to request a hearing following the board's action tonight regarding the termination that hearing is that hearing can be either in front of you or he can request what's called a 120 hearing in front of an administrative hearing officer if he has one in front of a 120 hearing officer that comes back to you as a recommended order from the hearing officer you are bound by that other than you can change findings but you have to cite in the record what the basis for the findings changes or it's very restricted what you can and can't do at that point but that would be the stage process either to you or to DOA and then back to you okay board any further discussion on this item all right so we have a motion pending we'll vote all those in favor um, please vote aye aye, aye. aye. Hearing none opposed, the vote passes 3 0. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve items G through L under business and finance. Second that. A motion to approve G through L by Mr. Booth, second by Mr. Thacker. Board, any discussion on any of those items? Hearing none, we'll vote. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Hearing none opposed, vote passes 3 0. I'll make a motion to approve item M. Second. Second. Motion by Mr. Thacker to approve item M. Second by Mr. Booth. Board, any discussion on this particular item? 
Hearing none, we'll take a vote. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Hearing none opposed, the vote passes 3 0. Mr. Chairman, I will make a motion to approve item N under facilities. Motion to approve items N by Mr. Boo. Second. Second by Mr. Thacker to approve item N. Board, any discussion? I always like approving uh, decreases. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. and, indeed, indeed. All right. Hearing no further discussion, we'll take a vote. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Hearing none opposed, the vote passes 3 0. And I will make a motion to approve item O. Very well. Motion second. to approve O by Mr. Thacker, second by Mr. Booth. Any discussion on this item? I just have a question. Have we previously approved the, uh, the police department, the two police departments? Could be. Or do they come along too? Behind us, do you know? There's a man with the answer. The man with a plan. <laughs> We have only the Sheriff's Department contract completed at this time. The two police departments are still um, waiting to go through their chains. No problem. No. no, no, sir. No anticipated problems at all for them. Okay. Are you, uh, just since you're up here, are you prepared for next week? <laughs> I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> um, on the last year, um, particularly the three schools in the center of Kissimmee were sharing a resource officer. And we'd had some discussions on whether that was uh, ample or not. Do you know if we've uh, done anything to increase that, or do we just stay with status quo, or do you know? It's Central uh, Highlands and Thacker, I believe. Are the, are we, with the police departments, we've remained the same. We did add a um, couple within the Sheriff's Department to separate some of the um, schools. Um, we're up to 27 with the Sheriff's Department, and we remain the same with both police departments at this time. Okay, and I know we just approved the budget, but um, and I know you, you, you were probably not here for having the benefit of some of those discussions. I would, to you know what the board thinks, but maybe go talk to those three principals and see what they feel is, if they feel what they have is adequate and appropriate. And... Uh, Come back to us if you feel you need. We need to look at that. Yes, sir. Yep. No, I think that's Mr. Thacker. I think that's an excellent idea. I know when we had our kind of closed door um, security meeting. I think it's been a year or longer now uh, when Sheriff Hansel. So it has been a, yeah, over a year. A but year. Um, uh, we had some great discussions then at that time, and I know we were going to. And I don't know if we ever did it. Look at the numbers to have an, an SRO at every school, and I think at that time it was. Essentially, it was too much, but also it was they, the sheriff's department and police departments didn't even think they could have enough to staff it, even if, if we could, yeah. could afford it. Um, so certainly, <clears throat> to, to kind of tag on, along with yeah. Mr. Thacker, is there a way that we could get a report maybe from each principal that just says, hey, I'm good, and, and each principal yeah, may Yeah, we had some that were fine sharing. That yep. Some are okay with sharing. Covered, and some that felt they maybe were to fine. hear, maybe, maybe to feel, I know, just just say for instance out of harmony it's a high school a big high school but they're kind of sharing with the community school back and forth and and we may only need one person out there um but maybe when we come into into st cloud we need we need more i think and we, we're addressing that with Kissimmee now so maybe maybe just to report back and i'd like to see it if you don't mind yes sir i'll, I'll generate say, it i just like to raise a question yeah i'd yeah. like to see more or, or we're good or or uh, and, and and please encourage them to to, to be honest Okay. We'll get it done, sir. Like always. Thank you, sir. Good discussion, board. Um, we still do have the motion pending. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Hearing none opposed, the vote passes 3 0. Uh, we're down to the end of our agenda. Uh, Acting superintendent, any recommendations? No, but the superintendent wanted me to make sure that I mentioned to the board and to our employees and the general public that. We are in constant communication with the Emergency Operations Center. Uh, tomorrow will be an important meeting where we get further direction from them and we will communicate promptly to the public. Very well, thank you. I, I know that uh, Dade and uh, uh, Monroe are already evacuated. Does that require us to start opening or is that what you're going to find out? Tomorrow? That's what we're going to find out tomorrow. Yep, those are the details. Very well. All right. Attorneys report legal issues. Uh, the only item I report to give you a status of uh, monitoring the proposed lawsuit that a number of districts have decided they would file to come back to you at the appropriate point. They have 
identified as of last Thursday a firm that they were looking to hire from Chicago. Um, I'm getting a list, an updated list of what are the latest districts. It's fluid uh, in joining. Um, and then I'll bring that back to you when we have a full board uh, to deal with it at that time, because I think that's an important issue for the full board to act on, Mr. Chairman. Indeed. All right. Anything further? No, nothing Fine. further. All right. Um, okay, superintendent's update. We have that. Board, is there any unfinished business? I mean, I don't see anything in the schedule, but. We, just a question. We had a uh, executive committee meeting at the last meeting that uh, didn't go. Yes. They had not, right. Um, that is not rescheduled. Uh, I got with the attorney, and what I suggested was to please put, give me a complete written recommendation and analysis of the case that I could give to each board member before we walk into any executive session. Um, and the reason I say that is there may not, based upon the analysis of the case and the review, there may not be a need for an executive session. There may be if any board member wants it, but just calling these meetings, as I've said before, I want to see stuff written down as to what is happening. Sure. <clears throat> any other unfinished business board, board member comments? Uh, uh, new business, actually. No. I don't have any new business. I would like to make some comments before we conclude. Okay, comments. We're ready. Um, Dr. Fritz and, and the staff, please let me know uh, anything that I can do when it comes time to <clears throat> You know, when, when we, it looks as if we, we may have to open some shelters. So if there's anything that, that I can do as a board member, um, Thank you. you know, if you need me to show up anywhere, just let me know. I'll certainly try to be where I can. So. Much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, I think we all stand ready to pitch in whatever way we can. Um, all right, we, we've concluded our board meeting. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. Thank you for um, um, sharing this moment with us. and. Hereby adjourn. Can I make a motion that Jay and Tim don't come to any other board yeah. meetings and we get done and oh, can I miss I miss I miss I miss those guys, man. I missed them. So <laughs>